Hi guys, I'm Engineer HB again and welcome to Derive. So in today's video, uh, we're going to answer uh, passport exam problems under the chapter 5 which is is of course andito pa rin tayo sa machine design and ayun. So let us start answering uh, those passport problems. And bago tayo mag-proceed sa questions, magkaroon na tayong konting review sa mga formulas na ginagamit sa is, no? So meron tayo ditong assembly ng shaft, diameter, and the key. No? So, syempre, uh, naka-attach sa portion ng shaft si key. So, meron tayong shaft dito, itong bilog, of course, uh, with a diameter D. And syempre, meron tayong susi dito no? na may lapad na B or designated by B. So, ito yung pinakasusi niya kapag inalis natin sa shaft. So, meron siyang lapad na letter B and meron din siyang uh, kapal or taas na letter T and of course meron siyang length no designated by letter L of course if this assembly of shaft and key no experiences a torque so sabihin nating itong torque ay designated by letter T of course uh, somewhere on the key makakaranas siya ng tangential force which is designated by letter F so that tangential force is a force on the shaft or applied force on the key no ah uh, kitang-kita naman natin that this line or arrow no na dinedesignate ng letter f which is the force is tangential to this shaft so yung tan so yung tangential force na to sa shaft ito yung inapplied mong pwersa doon sa susi so parang ganito siya pag sinum out no or pag tinanggal natin yung susi doon sa drawing so somewhere on this key, nakakaranas siya ng tangential force na dapat ay nasa siya. Okay, so parang na-imagine mo, di ba? Nakakaranas ng tangential force si siya. And that force is also applied on the key. No, Siyempre, kapag nakaranas ng torque, may mararanasang force si siya. Which is nararanasan din ng key. Okay, so that is designated by letter F. So this is a basic relationship between a force and the torque, lalo na kapag usapang shafting, no, umpisa pa lang yung strength of materials until the machine design. So, summation of moment about the center, so mga kabuo tayo ng F, is equal to 2T over D. So, force is equal to twice ng torque divided by diameter. Or simply as, sa physics natin, torque is equal to force times radius. So, it is also equivalent to force times Diameter divided 2 kasi si radius is uh, diameter divided 2. So parang nangyari, kinaros multiply lang si 2 sa kabila. So that will become 2t is equal to fd. So that will become f is equal to 2t over d. So ganun lang naman kasimple. Torque is equal to force times radius or force times diameter divided by 2. And of course... Kung nakaranas ng torque at nakaranas ng tangential force on shop or applied force on the key, of course, na stress yung susi natin. No? Hindi lang si shop. So, alam naman natin na ang shearing stress ng shop is the 16T over pi d cube. Pero ano, uh, how about the key that is attached on the shop? So, meron siyang shearing stress na, rar na nararanasan and that is equivalent to uh, shearing stress or designated by SS is equal to F over B times L. So parang nangyari dyan, force over area. So this is your force. So this is your area. So B times L. So B divided by, uh, force divided by area. So that was force divided by B times L. So parang nangyari, ito yung sheared area. No? So this is your, uh, parang nangyari, this is your B and this is your L. So parang nangyari, ito yung napupunit dyan eh. Ayan, yan yung portion na yan. Yan yung nakakaranas ng shearing stress. So, ang nangyari dyan, ito yung area mo. So, this is your area uh, is equal to width times length which is designated by B. And syempre, yung length mo doon designated by L. So, that was the shearing stress. Of course, it is equivalent to uh, design shearing stress. And syempre, hindi lang nakaranas ng shearing stress o pagkapunit yung key. No, meron din siyang naranasan na compressive or crushing stress kasi nga nakaipit si shaft sa kanya. No, Siyempre, may pwersa na umiipit dun sa suse because of the shaft. And ganito yung drawing nun. So that will become uh, 
SC or compressive or crushing stress is equal to force over area again. Kaso ang pinagkaiba naman dito, yung area mo, syempre iba na. Kung itong nakakaranas ng pagkapunit, ito namang gilid na to yung nakakaranas ng compressive or crushing stress. So ito yung gilid na yun. Syempre, ang involved dyan, yung thickness muna. Kung kanina sa shearing stress, dito nangyari yung pagkapunit, of course, involved yung lapad ng susi dyan. Siyempre, sa compressive or crushing stress, involved na yung gilid, which is ito, itong area na ito. Ayan. So, that will be no, thickness times length. Pero, hindi siya thickness times length agad. So, that is thickness divided by 2 or thickness over 2 times length. Yun yung magiging area nung kinakrush nung shop sa susi. So, bakit T over 2? Kasi, ang assumption dyan is hindi naman lahat yan ay nakapasok dun sa susi. Ay nakapasok sa shop yung buong susi. Of course, ba't ka parang susi kung ipapasok mo dun sa uh, buong uh, area ng shop, di ba? So, ang assumption dyan is yung kalahate yung nakakaranas ng uh, crushing stress or parang ito. Yeah. Yeah. So, yan yung nakakaranas ng uh, compressive stress. So, madali lang matandaan your shearing stress, damay lang yung lapad tsaka yung haba. At kapag compressive stress naman, dama yung kapal or taas ng suse, divide mo lang ng tuyon, times mo lang ng length. So nagkakaiba lang naman siya sa area. Tandaan, itong portion na to, yung pahalang nakakaranas ng shearing stress. And this side, no, or vertical na line na didrawing ko, yun yung nakakaranas ng crushing or compressive stress. Of course, nandito tayo sa keys na topic. Uh, kung may keys kung may keys or suse na single or singular. So, meron naman tayong tiyatawag na splines. So, basically, splines are uh, composed lamang ng number of keys no? or number of keyway. So, parang yan, yung nasa drawing. And syempre, yung suse, di pa rin naman magbabago. Meron siyang lapad na B at lapad na thickness. Ang pinagkaiba lang dito, sa drawing kasi ng singular, kagaya nito, nakadrawing yung isang buo. No? Kita lahat. Kaya madedetinguish uh, mo, distinguish mo na T over 2 yung area sa compressive stress. Pero dito naman, ayan, since this is a spline, no, uh, ang talagang makapapakita lang dyan is yung kalahati ng kapal ng suse. So designated again by the B for the width of the key and T for the thickness of the key. Pero ang kakaiba rito sa spline ay meron siyang major and minor diameter. So that is designated by D na malaki and D na maliit. Of course, for the major and minor diameter respectively or outside and inside diameter. So in order to get the value of the thickness kung walang given, basta given si major and given si minor, divided mo lang ng 2 yung difference nila and, there, and you are going to have the thickness kasi parang ginanto mo lang yan. Ayan. Ayan. So parang siya yung... Uh, Ito yung major diameter mo at ito naman yung uh, minor diameter mo. Of course, meron ka rin kapal, meron ka rin itong kapal. So, parang lumalabas, dalawang T plus D na maliit is equal to D. So parang nangyari, ito rin siya. So that was your thickness. So how about the tangential force? So it is also the same for the singular uh, key assembly. Pinagkaiba lang. Yung 2T over D mo dito, magiging DM na. Which is the mean diameter of shaft. So pag sinabing mean, that was basically a average of two given values. So kung meron kang major and minor diameter, so divide mo lang yung 2. So that was your uh, mean diameter. So parang nangyayari dyan, guys, ay eto. So yan, parang yan yung Ah, tam. De, de. Pala dyan. Sorry na. Di pala dyan. So, parang dito, syempre. Yan. Yan. So, parang dyan yung DM. Yan. Yan. 
Diyan yung mean diameter niya. Kasi nga, involve si major and minor diameter sa assembly. So, ang kinuha na lang, na inaapektuhan ng tangential force is the mean diameter of shaft. And of course, again, nakaranas ng torque, nakaranas ng force. Siyempre, makakaranas, makakaranas din siya ng stress, which is compressive. No? And that will be uh, F. Again, of course, F over area, force over area. So, that is your force. And your area will be T times L. So, kung sa singular uh, ano natin, assembly, si compressive stress ay T over 2, dito naman is T lang. So that was, kasi nga, ang napapakita na rito ay uh, kumbaga kalahati na lang nung kapal nung suse. And syempre, ginamitan na rin naman natin ng mean diameter of shaft. So, kung sa nakikita nyo, para ka na rin nag T over 2. Kasi nandito yung ah uh, ginamit na diameter pagkuha ng tangential force is mean diameter. So, that was F over T by L times N. No? So, since this is a spline or a multiple key arrangement or assembly, so kung ilan lang yung key way, that was your number of N. So, N is equal to number of keys. So, kung dito ay anim, of course, your N is equal to 6. Okay, so ganun lang naman, uh, kasimple. No? And our uh, third slide for the formula is that the power transmitted, so it is uh, the same also on the shaft. Of course, damay si shaft sa suse. So that was power is equal to torque multiplied by speed divided by constant. So ito yung constant kapag metric at ito naman yung constant kapag English. Okay, enough for the review of the formula. So ma... Uh, pwede nyo naman balikan yan. So, ang mahalaga, makasagutan natin yung mga questions. I will read the question. Number one, a kid sprocket delivers a torque of 778.8 newton meter through the shaft of 54 millimeter outside diameter. The key thickness is 1.585 cm and the width is 1.11 cm. Compute the length of the key. The permissible stresses are 60 megapascals for shear and 90 megapascals for tension. So the question is looking for the length of the key. So that is designated by letter L. Pero san natin sila pwedeng kunin? The last statement is that uh, it gives the permissible stresses of 60 megapascal for shear and 90 for tension. So sabihin muna natin, SS is equal to 60 mega pascals. And SC, no, or the tension, so it is the same lamang sa crushing or compressive stress. Tika iba lang yung direction, of course, pag ganun si compressive, iniipit niya nga, and si tension hila. So, pero, but the value is still the same. So for the tension or permissible stress is 90 mega pascals. So how are we going to acquire the length of the key, which is yung nahanap. So way back for the previous slide, we all know the formula for the shearing stress of the key. That was equal to F over yung lapad, which is B. And syempre yung haba ng suse. That was your area. Force over area, and your area is the width or the B times length or the L. F divided by B times L. And we're going to acquire this L kapag meron tayong F and B. So dito muna tayo sa 90. So 90 megapascals naman, force over area. So kung dito sila pa, dito naman si kapal, just divide by 2 and multiply by length. And dito naman, pwede natin makuha length kapag may given na thickness. So ayun, so kunin muna natin yung ibang given. A kid's bracket delivers a torque of 77 0.8 newton meter shaft diameter is 54 mm the key thickness is uh, 1.585 cm and the width is 11 a uh, 1.11 cm okay so meron na tayong b which is 1.11 ang kailangan na lang natin kunin is force so are we going to get the force? So in a simple key and shaft arrangement, 
we all know that the force or the tangential force on the shaft or applied force on the key is equal to 2T divided by diameter. So that was twice times 77.8 seven Newton mm, a Newton meter. So multiply na agad natin siya ng 1,000 para maging Newton mm. So Newton mm. Kasi 1 meter is equal to 1,000 mm. So divide natin ng diameter which is 54 mm. So cancel na si mm. So we are going to have a force of uh, 2 times 7, 7, 8.8 .8 times 1,000 divided by 54. Tama ba? Newton, meter, mm. So that was yan. 2 times 7, 7, 8 times 1,000 divided by 54. So meron tayong 28,444. 28,000. Ayan. 844.44 Newton. So yan, pwede natin makuha si length dito at pwede na rin makuha sa length dito. So this will become 28,844.44 Newtons divided by B which is 1.11 cm times na natin 100 because 1 cm is 100 mm. Tama ba? 1 cm is 100 mm. No, no. So that was uh, 1 mm. A uh, 10 mm is equal to 1 cm. So that was multiplied by 10. Na. So 1.11 times 10. So length. So uh, mm squared to. So naka mm to. Kasi naka mm rin to. Newton per square millimeter or megapascal. So cancel si newtons. Cancel yung isang mm. So, ang matitira is length is equal to mm. So, that was. Shift store muna yung F kasi sas, gagamitin pong pa yan mamaya sa so 90 megapascal. So, that was 28844.44 divided by 1.11 times 10. Divide mo ng 60. Or times mo ng 60 sa ilalim. So, that was 43.31 mm. Okay, so mamaya na tayo magkumpara. So meron naman tayo ditong 90 is equal to 28,844.44 newtons divided by thickness over 2. So that was 1.585 times 10 para maging mm divide 2. Kasi may divide 2 doon times length. So our length will be 28844.44 divided by 1.585 times 10 times R divided to let. So times 90. So our answer is 40.44. So sir, anong pipiliin namin dyan? So lagi tayong pumili kapag ganito ay mas mahabang length. Okay, so the answer is 43.31 mm. But the answer is looking for centimeters based on the multiple choices. So it will be only divided by 10. So that will become a 4.33 cm. And the answer is, ayan, letter B. Ang pinakamalapit, 4.32. So the answer is letter B. Okay, so we're already done on the first question for the second question. Ayan. A rectangular key was used in a pulley connected to a land shop with a power of 1 to 5 kilowatts at a speed of 900 RPM. If the shearing stress of the shop is 40 megapascal and the key to be 22 megapascals, determine the length of the rectangular key if the width is 1 fourth that of shop diameter. So pag sabi rectangular key, magkaiba yung sukat ng thickness dun sa lapad. No? So a rectangular key was used in a pulley connected to a line shop with a power of uh, sabi, power of 125 kilowatts and speed of 900 RPM. If the shearing stress of the shaft is 40 megapascals, 
sa shop yan, sa shop. Shop. Para di malito kasi kung maglalagay yung S dito, puro S na yan. And shearing stress up uh, 22 naman, megapascals for the key or sa susi naman daw. Determine the length of the rectangular key. So the uh, question is looking for the rectangular key length. If the width daw or letter B is one part of the shop diameter. Okay, so how are we going to get the length? So it is the same also as the question number one. So uh, the question number one is looking for the length. So the same naman dito. So pwede natin siyang kunin sa shearing stress na given. Pero di, so walang mangyaring tension na stress dito kasi both stresses are given for a shearing condition. Ang pinagkaiba nga lang, meron shop at meron din for key. And of course, sa key tayo gagamit mamaya. But the thing is, sige, uh, sulat muna natin, yung shearing stress for the key is equal to F applied force divided by ang lapad times ang haba. Iyon yung area mo. Ipurahin ko lang ito, gawin ko lang straight. Yan. But the thing is, we can get the length, but first we need to search for the value of the force and nitong lapad. But merong binigay kanina na B is equal to one-fourth times diameter. And the thing also is walang given na diameter. So unahin muna natin sige si B, which is one-fourth B. Uh, sige, unahin muna natin itong si F, which is the force. So dito sa unang given, meron tayong power and speed. And we all know, basically, kapag meron kang nakitang power and speed, lalo na kapag uh, shop diameter ang usapan, syempre involved na rin si key. So magkakaroon na rin tayo ng torque yan. So we all know that the formula for the metric is power is equal to torque times speed divided by 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 provided that torque is in Newton mm and speed speed or N is in RPM. And then magkakaroon ka na ng power which is in kilowatts. So ayun. So our power is uh, 125 kilowatt is equal to torque times 900 RPM. Lagay na lang natin dito yung constant which is 9.549 para makasave tayo ng space. So our torque will be so 125 times 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 divided by 900. So the answer is 1,326,250 Newton m. And we all know, no? Kung, para, uh, kung bakit may given na shop stress dito. So we all know that the shop stress. So balikan lang natin yung konting at uh, formula for the previous chapter which is shafting design so we all know that the uh, stress for a shaft is 16 t divided by pi d cube so meron tayong ss which is 40 megapascals meron din tayong torque so we're going to acquire the diameter so para meron tayong value ni width later okay so dito so that will become 22 or rather 40 megapascals is equal to 16 times torque 1326250 newton mm divided by pi d cube so cancel si newton cross multiply mm squared times mm so that will become millimeter cube kunimin cube root so our diameter is in unit of mm so the value is, yung muna burayin yung torque kanina, 16 multiplied by that answer, divide 40, divide 5, get the cube root, and we have it, 55.27 millimeters. So our width will become, times mo lang ng 0.25 or divide mo ng 4, so that will become 13.82 mm. Okay, so meron tayong B. Pwede natin makuha yung L. But before that, we're going to find the F muna, which is the force. And we all know, no, sa shop key assembly, 
f is equal to 2t over, over diameter will do again. So that was twice mo yung torque over diameter. So our force or applied force on the key will become 2 times 1, 3, 2, 6, 250 divided by 55.27. Again, 2, 1, 3, 2, 6, 250 divided by 55.27. So the answer is 47,991.68 newtons. And ayan, ma-apply na natin siya rito, which is 22 megapascals. equal to 47,991.68 newtons divided by divided by B, which is 13.82 mm. Times the length. So cancel si Newton. Cancel isang mm. May matitirang isang mm doon. So the answer is in millimeter. It was 47991.68 divided by 13.82 divided by 22 million. So the answer is 157.85 millimeters. So the answer is closest to ayun, letter D, 157.8 millimeters. So the answer for the second question is letter D. Yeah. So proceed tayo sa third question, guys. A transmission shaft 60 millimeters in diameter is to be driven by a flat belt through 800 millimeters pulley. The tight side tension of the belt is 6670 and the slack side tension is 4450. The length of the key is 150 mm or 150. Using a standard 16 millimeter by 60 millimeter square key, find the shearing stress of the key. So the question is looking for the shearing stress of the key. Now, given that the assembly of a transmission shaft, ayan, hindi naging ang pangit na ating bilog. So, ito yung shaft natin. Kunyari, 60 mm yan, driven by a flat belt through a 800 millimeters pulley. So, kunyari, ito yung pulley mo. Alright. So, our diameter here is 60 mm. And our diameter here... Ano ba yan? Paling tayo maglinya. Ayan. So, our diameter here is... Our diameter here is 800 mm. Siyempre, ito yung pulley mo. Ito naman yung shaft mo. Siyempre, para kung mabit yung shaft mo dyan, siyempre may susi. Ayan. So, kunyari, ito yung belt. Driven by a flat belt. Ayan. Kunyari yan. So, kunyari, kung pag ganun ang ikot, siyempre, ito yung tight side tension mo. And ito yung slack mo. So, okay. So, ayan. Kunyari, ito yung F1, which is tight side. And the slack side tension. Sabihin natin yung F2. So, tight side is F1. Si slack side si F2. So, the length of the key is 150 mm. So, ang haba pala ng susi is 150 mm. So, determine the shearing stress of the key. So, we all know. Ulitin natin that the shearing stress for key is a force divided by area and your area is your width or width ng suse times the length. No, and given naman si B, which is, ang sabi, using a standard 16mm by 16mm square key. So, matik, ang B mo is 16mm kasi nga square. Parehas ang kapal, parehas ang lapat. And meron tayong length dito which is 150. So we're going to look for the force na lang. Okay, so we all know, no? In the belt design, 
meron tayong rated force is equal to twice ng torque divided by diameter. So, kung meron tayo sa shaft arrangement or shaft and key arrangement na F is equal to 2T over D, provided that this force is only for the shaft. Shaft and shaft. How about the pulley? So, syempre, meron din yan. So, that will become FP is equal to 2T over D. Okay. So, that was... Uh, ang mangyayari dito, ang force ng pulley mo is yung rated belt mo. Ano yung rated belt na tiyatawag? So, kapag usapang pulley, kasi doon naka-attach yung belt sa pulley. So, ang rated belt is just the net belt or the difference between the slack side and the tight side tension. So, ayan yung mangyayari. So, this is your pulley diameter. So, this has the same torque. No? Kung titignan mo, pwede ka mag-ratio and proportion dyan. Pero sige, kunin na natin to. So, ano-ano ba yung given? Ayan, meron naman na tayong F1 minus F2 here. So, that will become a 6670 minus 4450. It's equal to twice ng torque divided by ng pulley diameter which is 800 mm. So, meron tayong torque na 6670 minus 4450 times 800 divided by 2. We have the 888,000 Newton mm. So, we need to get the torque out of this rated belt tension. Why? Para makuha natin yung Fs which is the force applied on the heat. Kasi meron yan, no? Kapag nag, uh, kung may na-produce na torque because of the tension sa pulley diameter, so meron ka rin napoproduce na torque doon. Siyempre, kung may na-produce kang torque dito sa assembly na to, with both pulley and the shaft, siyempre meron din dyang force no? na applied sa suse. And yun yung inaabol natin dito. So kung meron tayong torque, pwede natin insert dito kasi may shaft diameter naman tayo. So we're going to acquire this Fs, so it will become Fs is equal to twice times 888,000 by, by shop diameter, which is 60. So that will become 29,600 newtons. So it will become 29,600 newtons divided by Ang breed mo is 16 or weed mm and our length is 150 mm. So that will become Newton per mm squared. So that will become mega pascals. So yun, 29,600 divided by 16 times 150. So the answer is 12.33 mega Pascals. So the answer is, ayun, the answer is letter B. Again guys, wag malilito kapag may gandong question. Just look forward no, in finding the, the force for the shaft. No, kapag may given na pulley, lalo na pulley diameter, and the rated belt tension, which is the slack and the tight side. So just get the difference between the slack and the tight side. At yun yung magiging pwersa para sa pulley mo, which is doon mo makukuha yung torque, which is torque is the same for both pulley and shaft kasi one assembly yan. So yung makukuha mong torque, yun yung ipapasok mo rito para makuha mo naman yung pwersa na nakuha nung key. At pag nakuha mo yung pwersa na nakuha nung key, pwede mong makuha yung shear stress nung key. So that was FS divided by area, which is uh, the width designated by B times length designated by letter L. Okay, so that's enough for the third question. We're going to uh, go for this fourth question. Determine the key length of square key for gear-driven shaft to withstand a torque of 28, uh, 2,891.4 Newton meters. The shaft diameter is 65 mm with design stress of 72.6 megapascals in shear. The thickness and width of key is 5.8. So the question is 
looking for the key link again. And merong given na uh, torque, which is 2891.4 newton meters. And the shaft diameter is 65 mm with design stress of 72.6 megapascals in shear. The thickness and width of the key is 5A. So this is uh, the same. Why? Because the given is a square key. Of course, may, the same ang size ng width and the thickness. So kung napapansin nyo guys, the given is English unit for the thickness and width of the key. So we're going to convert it first on millimeters. So, 1 inch is equal to 25.4. So, 5 eighths or 0.625 times 25.4. So, that is 15.875 mm. And ayun. So, ang alam natin is SS is equal to F divided by area. Laging paling linya natin. Area, which is BT. And we all know that F is equal to 2T over D. So, recta na natin dito. D, B, T. So, ayan. So, the uh, solution will become 72.6 Newton per mm squared is equal to 2T. So, that was 2 times 2. 1,891.4. Multiply na natin ng 1,000 para maging Newton mm. Kasi ang given is Newton meter and we all know that 1 meter is 1,000 mm. So our diameter is 65 mm. Our uh, thickness and uh, width is 15.875 mm. 15.875 mm. So, cancel na si Newtons. Cancel na yung dalawang, mm, uh, dalawang millimeter. So, ang matitira is mm. Tama pa. I know. Mali. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Kaya yeah, pala. So, ang area na yan is B times length. Sorry. Sorry for the mistake. So, this will become L. Kasi ngayon nahanap nga naman pala L. <laughs> so, ayan. Matitirang isang mm. So, the answer of the length is in mm. So, sorry. Dito pala mali na tayo. No? Pero ito. Force over area. Area of the shear for the K is yung lapad times yung haba. So, 2 times 2. 891.4 times 1,000 divided by 65. Divided by 15.875. Tama ba? So, 2, ta, 2 times 2891.4 times 1000 divided by 5 mm. Oh, wala pa lang. Ito, yun, 72.6. 72.6 times uh, 15.875. 2 times 2891.4. Wait lang, guys. May chine-check lang ako. 2.6. So, the answer is 77.19 mm. Or the multiple choice is looking for CM, so just divided by 10, so that is 7.71 or 72 rather CM. So ang pinakamalapit na sagot is 7.7. .7. So the answer is letter D. Okay. So last question. So this is uh, ano, medyo mahaba. Kasi tatlo yung tanong. 
So I will read the question. A model 108 spline connection. So the given spline. It's a good sample for a spline problem. 8 by 52 by 60 is used for gear and shop. The number of kick is 8. Minor diameter is 52. And major diameter is 60. So yung pala yung meaning ng 8 by 52, 60. 8 is your number of teeth. 52 is your minor diameter. And 60 is your major diameter that rotates at 120 RPM speed with transmitted power of 20 kilowatts and normal pressure of 6.5 megapascals. So the first question for this number five item is what is the torque transmitted? So nakita pa lang natin kanina, meron ng involved na power transmitted which is 20 kilowatts N is equal to 120 RPM. So Matic, this is a metric unit. We all know that the power is equal to torque times P divided by constant of 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 provided that your torque is in Newton mm, your speed in RPM, and makakakuha ka ng power in kilowatts. So meron ka naman power which is 20 kilowatts is equal to torque multiply by speed of 120 rpm divided by constant of 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 so our torque will become so 1 million and 591 newton mm and since the multiple choice is looking for kilonewton meter we all know na newton mm I, uh, 10 raised to 6 newton mm is equal to 1 kilonewton meter. Bakit? Kasi mm is 1,000 meters, or rather 1 m is 1,000 mm, and 1 kilonewton is 1,000 newton. So 1,000 times 1,000, that is 1 million or 10 raised to 6. So just divide this torque by 10 raised to 6, it will become 1.59. One five kilonewton meter. So the answer is uh, letter B. So what is the normal force, Dao? Sabi, what is the normal force? So we all know that the normal force for the shop and key assembly is F is equal to two T over D. But remember, guys, that this is a spline connection. So ang magbabago is magiging mean diameter ito. Okay. So, and we all know that the mean diameter is just the average of the, mi of the minor and the major, which is, uh, ang sabi is 52 daw plus 60 divided 2. Kasi kanina binanggit na rito that the minor diameter is 52 and their major is 60. So, both in mm. So, ang mm din ang lalabas, 52 plus 60, average mo yun. So, 56 mm. So, ang answer natin dito is twice ng 1.5915 times 10 raised to 6 kasi kailangan maibalik sa Newton mm divided by 56 mm. So, Newton mm, mm cancel sa mm, Newton ang matitira. So, the answer is 2 times 1.5915 times 10 raised to 6 divided by 56 so that was 56,000. 56,839.28 Newton. And the answer is looking for kilonewton. So just divide it by 1,000. So that would become 56.84 kilonewton. Ano ang pinakamalapit na sagot? So ang pinakamalapit is letter A. Force 56.9. So the answer is letter A. Okay, so hindi tayo kumasya dito. Uh, tama ba? So dito na lang tayo. So naglaan ako ng isang slide for the second and third. Kumasya naman si second. So dito na tayo sa third. So what is the length of the hub? No, So para makuha natin length of the hub, given the spline arrangement, you all know sa spline arrangement, SC is equal to force divided by uh, thickness times length times the number of the freeway or ng suse. 
Kasi kung ilan yung keyway, ilan din yung susi, of course. No? Kung sa uh, kung sa hin kung hindi ang spline ng given, it is divided by 2, tapos wala ito. Pero kapag spline, I'll just erase this. And ayan. So, yan yung compressive stress. No? Ito yung force over area times dun sa number of spline. So, ayan. So, ang meron na tayong given na SC kanina, which is, ang sabi, normal pressure of 6.5 megapascal. So, that was 6.5 megapascal or Newton per square millimeter is equal to force. Ano yung force natin kanina? So, 56,839, tama ba? 0.28 Newton. So para sa mga nalilito, ang saan yung force? Ito po, kakukuha lang natin for the second question. no Or ito, doon na tayo sa medyo, or sa mas accurate na sagot. Kasi yung sagot dito sa choices is rounded off na. So, the length of dub. So, our thickness is... Ano ba yung given nating thickness? So, walang given na thickness. So, paano natin makakuha si thickness? Way back on our formula for the previous slide, to get the thickness for the spline arrangement, we should uh, subtract this major and minor diameter and get the... Uh, and divide it by 2. Kasi kapag nag-drawing ka ng spline, kunyari spline, yan. Ayan. 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 No, kapag nag-drawing ka kasi ng uh, spline, uh, pwedeng ito kasing ito yung lalabas na thickness mo eh. Ayan. Para makuha yan. So this is your uh, major diameter. And this is your minor diameter. So, of course, ito yung thickness mo. Yeah. And we all know that uh, pag pinag plus mo yung dalawang thickness plus small diameter, mag-lead siya sa uh, major diameter. So, pwede mo siyang gawing 2t is equal to d minus d na maliit. So, that will become d minus d over 2. So, that how the thickness for the spline arrangement works. So, T is equal to D minus D over 2. So, meron tayong given na uh, uh, 52 kanina and 60. So, that was 60 minus 52 divided 2. So, that was 8 divided 2. So, our thickness is 4 mm. So, our thickness here is 4 mm. And our uh, length, so, di nang babalikan given pala kanina. Ay, yung hinahanap pala is length of the hub. And of course, your N stands for the number of keyway or number of keys, which is ang sabi kanina ay 8 by 52 by 60. So the number of teeth is 8, sabi. So our length is 56839.28 divided by 6.5 divided by 4. So the answer is 273.27 or 2655m or rounded off to 273.27m. So ayun sakto, the, uh, the question or the answer or the multiple choice has an mm. So sakto, mm to. So ang pinang malapit na sagot ay uh, ayun, letter D. 273 mm. So the answer is letter D. Ayun. Woo. Okay, so natapos na natin yung uh, five item. Actually, that is not a five item. Parang malabas naging eight. Uh, sorry, that was seven item question for the whole topic of the keys. So, ayun lang guys. Salamat sa pagsama sa akin sa pag-discuss ng formulas and sa pag-solve ng 5 item or 5 to 7 item problem for the topic of the keys. So, uh, kita-kits tayo sa mga susunod kong videos for the machine design. No, Just uh, subscribe to our channel. Of course, follow our Facebook page on the link. Salamat sa pakikinig. Salamat sa pagsama. Good luck and God bless sa inyong review, guys. And thank you again. Bye.